Welcome back everybody to the association. In today's video, I thought we would do a kind of a basic video discussing and understanding the different types of staircases um, when you're building a uh, house or a building or what have you. To, uh, you know, based on if it's if it's uh, you know has a second story. If it doesn't have a second story, then there's no need to watch this video. But <laughs> anyway, uh, I thought we would uh, you know have a little chat about that. So. This was supposed to be a tutorial, of course, and um, we decided against it. We'll talk about that in a moment, but um, just want to talk about the thought process of what we do uh, when we're building a house, uh, you know, and um, it's a multi-story. Multi multi Man, still can't talk. Anyway, so let's, 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 let's talk about it. So the first thing we want to do, uh, or that we do, is we, of course, we're going to go into a uh, virtual visit because this is no need to building in aerial mode. Um, which I think we're going to do a, a separate video on that. Uh, area mode is good for some things, but virtual visit is where it's at, at least, at least in the beginning. Anyway, so I also want to set your height to where you stand at because that just makes sense when you're in virtual visit. So, um, you know, next thing we're going to do is walk over to the staircase. We didn't clip it, but we're going to uh, just walk over to the staircase and we're going to ask the million dollar question. And that is, can we, does it look like we can traverse the stairs? The treads look too high, too deep. It doesn't look like st city stairs or public stairs where the, the, the treads are three feet, you know, deep. We don't want that look, right? We don't want that. So we forgot to clip that, but it's fine. We'll move along. We'll move along. Um, but once we do that, the next thing is, you know, we're going to look at the height of the stair model itself. And, you know, as long as it's in the ballpark of what we're looking for, we're going to begin to build the stairs or the house around the stair model, not the other way around, because that's where your stair set can end up looking weird. Just, you know, long treads, the, the stairs, are, you know, looks like you have to step up five feet to get to the next step. That's not what you're looking for. So we're going to build the house around the stair model instead. That's where the tutorial was supposed to come in. But once again, it got a little too... Uh, advanced I guess you would say and you know we have a lot of beginners to stop by the channel and yeah we don't want to steer them wrong we don't want to turn them away from Sweet Home 3D or any type of any other CAD program and so it, it's it's just a bit much so we decided against it but we're gonna carry on we're gonna put the stairs um, you know set the house to the height of the stairs and then we're going to go outside to, to see a, a wall clipping through up to the next story because we forgot to uh, adjust the wall perfect it's a little yeah a little tearing there but we'll fix it anyway there's the wall that is clipped through that's why we have the, the wall in, in separate colors um to, we can tell if the wall is clipping through otherwise we really can't tell uh, sometimes you can see it flickering and tearing a little bit, but with these two colors, you can definitely see it. Anyway, here's the main part of the video. Let's let's put the stairs in its proper habitat. So, a stair set like this would be like in a mansion or a mini mansion, and it's going to come down to a large foyer and, of course, up to an upper foyer or a loft. So, this is what we're looking at. Of course, we're going to add um, some doors. We're going to add some rooms up here. Uh, to uh, to the project and we're gonna add a chandelier because you know how much we love chandeliers if you don't we're gonna add uh, we'll put the video at the end and you can watch it it's hilarious anyway we're gonna be working on this project so if you're not subscribed consider doing so clicking the subscribe and the bell and all that and then you can see us work on this project it's gonna be a while though but we have other projects down the pipeline so that being said let's go ahead and move on to the next stair set So this is your average plain Jane um, stair set from Archive 3D library or on your, uh, you know, native in the program. It just depends. I think you get it natively. I don't think you have to pick it up from the library, but I think it is there. It's neither here nor there. We're not going to talk about that, but we will talk about the 45 degree angle or 90 degree angle at the, at the base of the stairs. And so that's how we're going to put this in. Now, what type of environment would this be in? This would be in your, like just uh, your average three bedroom um, house that has a small living room or a small foyer. And the stairs would come down to that. So like a tract house, which a tract house is just a house that looks like the rest of them in, in, in a suburban neighborhood or a plan, what have you. But um, 
yeah, looks pretty good. There's a landing up top, which we didn't show. We, we spent the time putting it in, but we didn't show it. I don't know who does the editing on this channel, but it's ridiculous. Anyway, there's the landing. Um, you can barely see it. This would be the appropriate stair set for that 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 environment because it's it's um, it goes up ten stories or ten stories ten feet to the next story, and it also looks like it has a split level option there. So we might actually use this one in the future. So yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat stuff there. But my voice is getting hoarse, so I think we should move on to the next stair set. So this model here is from Archive 3D, pretty classy, um, kind of the same thing. It's going to come down to a living room or a foyer, but it's going to be a little larger, a little more upscale. You'll see that here in the next clip. Uh, I do like the kind of the classy rod iron border enclosure there. And so we use that to our advantage. So we decided to make another uh, bottom story, like a finished basement or uh, a lower level to the house. So you can see that there it looks pretty cool. Not bad at all. We're going to step around the other side, but um, a really cool update to Sweet Home 3D would be uh, having native stair set models that the treads change depending on how, you know, you can set it to the next story and it'll add or take away treads. And I've seen that. I think Microsoft has some type of CAD like that, little basic home builder CAD that does that. And that would be nice in Sweet Home 3D if we had an update like that. That would be awesome. Anyway, there's your lower level. Needs a little bit of work, but you know, hey, it's a nice start. We're not gonna be making a project out of this, so it's fine. So, but yeah, that's it with the video. Hope hope that helps you guys kind of understanding staircases and their environments and the type of environment they, they would go into um, and how you kind of build the house around the stair set. If you're kind of seasoned with Sweet Home 3D, this won't be an issue, but if you're a beginner, it, it will be, a, uh, you know, kind of an issue, but if you want us to do a tutorial on this very thing, consider, oh, not consider subscribing, but leave a comment. Let us know, right? And if you have any tutorial suggestions, anything like that, put them down in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, with that, folks, we have a really big video coming up. Um, yeah, it's a really big video, so stay tuned for that. Signing off for now, though. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.